Sup guys, thank you first and foremost for clicking on this video. Secondly, this video is proudly sponsored by these guys, Headspace. Headspace has one mission, to improve the health and happiness of the world. With millions of users in over 190 countries, they're well on the way to doing that. Originally created by an academic who decided to cut short a sports science degree to become a monk. He went on a journey lasting 10 years, traveling through Nepal, India, Russia, Thailand, Burma, and Australia, before returning to the UK with a mission to share what he had learnt with as many people as possible. And if we look back in history, that does ring a bell. From the academic classrooms in the UK, all over the world, and back again, Headspace was first just an idea, then a small meditation consultancy to an events company, and through an epic business partnership between a monk and a tech whiz, we now have the app called Headspace. So guys, by all means, head down into the description box below, check out Headspace for free, join me and millions of other people around the world experiencing a greater sense of mental health and mental well-being through the use of Headspace. You owe it to yourself and you owe it to everyone around you to take some time and look after your mental health. Thanks for watching guys and enjoy the video. What's up my friends? Welcome back to another episode of Rugby Player Reacts. I'm your host Jacob McDonald and today we are continuing this video series I'm currently working on titled Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's Top 100 Players of 2021. I am the rugby player, I am reacting to NFL players and in fact quite the player he is. He is a wide receiver for the Bucks, he is now a Super Bowl ring recipient and uh, he lands himself at number 48 on the list. Solid season. Uh, solid player. I learned quite a bit about Mike Evans last year as he played with the, the Bucks, and I, I did take a pretty keen interest in them, especially once they signed both Antonio Brown and Leonard Fournette. So as far as as far as far you know the firepower on a particular offense, look, I backed the Jags. I'm on the bandwagon. I'm not coming off. But if I was going to jump off, it'd be for the Bucks. So do with that what you will. Guys, it's time to roll the intro and let's get into the video. All right, so Big Mike Evans, he uh, he is big. He's rather tall, actually. I reckon he's about six foot four or six foot five. And when you think about a wide receiver, the attributes um, that you want with a wide receiver, you do want them to be tall. You do want them to be long. You want them to be aggressive. You want them to be agile, fast, strong, among other things. Big hands would be a bonus. But there is one thing, guys, at the end of the day, that all of those attributes combine to create, and that is receiving yards. And guys, I wouldn't normally go straight to the stats before we, you know, crack into the video, but today I'm going to do that because of the fact that when I see Mike Evans, when I read that name, there's only one thing that comes to mind, and that is his receiving yards. And that is the fact that he has scored over a thousand receiving yards in every single one of his seven seasons in the league. And, and those, my friends, are some stats that interest me um, and demand you know my respect and, and they get my respect and those are some stats that we're going to have a look at right now we have clicked on it before and we'll click on it again he is six foot five he's 105 kilograms or 230 um, by way of pounds he's been in the league since 2014 he is a Super Bowl champion so he's six five four five three for the 40 yard dash 37 inches on the vertical jump and 12 reps on the bench press and as we view his regular season statistics, here's here's what I was talking about, guys. Look at this. And he was so close. Oh my God, so close. And it's a game of inches, right? And in this case, it was a game of, of yards. A single yard in 2017. From 15 games, he had a total of 1,001 receiving yards. So 2014, 1,051. 2015, 1,206. 2016, 1,321. 2017, 1,001. 2018, career best, 1,524. 2019, 1,157. And 2020, just snuck in by the skin of his teeth by six yards with 1,006. Bringing his total from 106 career games to 8,266 receiving yards from just 532 receptions at an average of 15.5. 61 receiving touchdowns, 13 last year, a career high. We'll most probably hear about that and more in the video. And with that being said, let's get into it. Like a thousand yards every 
year he's been in the league, that's crazy. <laughs> that's, that's really crazy. Sure is. That is a stat you'd be so proud of. My Evans is always angry. He's feisty, man. We was playing the Rams. He caught the ball, and then they, I thought everybody had him tackled. I looked to the sideline to like get the next personnel group in, cause like I'm thinking the play's over. I thought you would tell, so I looked to the sideline for the personnel. Then I turn around and I saw him reach. And all of a sudden I hear like the cannons go off, and I'm like, what is going on? Touchdown, Tampa Bay! Fire the cannons for Mike Evans. He refused to go down. Mike Evans wasn't going to be denied on that one. That boy still got in the end zone. I look up at the at the board, I'm like, there's no So Godwin must have been on the other side. Antonio Brown was on Evans' side. Wait, that Mike just did that. And it was like two or three guys around him. So like naturally, we were expecting to get tackled. But he literally like fights off like two or three guys, like backs pedals and just like say I'm stronger than y'all. See, with all the, you know, the plastic and the, the padding and the helmets, it does tend to induce a spin-type move as you try and break the tackle. Because things tend to bounce off of each other in a way that just simply doesn't happen in rugby, right? And, you know, this, this takes me back to when I did play, very briefly, some football down in Melbourne, Australia. And, you know, it's... When you're initiating that contact, the contact happens or you feel that contact, you know, four or five or six inches before you normally would in the game of rugby, right? So to get used to the fact that you've actually got that additional padding or that additional, you know, armor that you can certainly utilize to your advantage, I didn't quite get to that point where I was used to it, right? So the contact was actually happening probably a split second. It's that split second before you know, I'd expected it or I was used to it in the game of rugby. So it was different. It was different. But the point I'm trying to make, guys, is when you actually get used to wearing pads and when you get used to the, you know, the uniform and the, the gameplay and, and what contact and what taking contact feels like, I feel like a dangerous runner in rugby could be even more dangerous in American football, you know, with the ability to utilize uh, those advantages as far as bouncing off tackles, as far as spinning off tackles, as far as breaking tackles in general. Just a thought. Inside fade, you know. What I mean, I think, shoot, if we got that stop, we were in business. Tom Brady drops back, floats that little, it's almost like a floater pass to Mike Evans, and you see him slide catching it for the first down. That tells you all you need to know about a guy. Hey, this is the playoffs. Tom Brady, one of the best to ever do it, um, is going to him. Whatever it takes to make sure we're playing next week, all right? Mike Evans helped lead the Buccaneers to Super Bowl 55. Caught Mike Evans, touchdown Tampa Bay! Not much a defender can really do there, is it? It's a big body. Brady has all kinds of time, throws toward the end zone. It's a caught ball, touchdown Tampa Bay, Mike Evans! In the big game, the Chiefs tried anything and everything to stop him. Oh, I remember this one. 31 yards. This was literally his only reception of the Super Bowl. And it went for 31 yards, a crossing route. It was absolutely beautiful. I got up for it, and I hope you guys did too. 20 to the 15. It's Mike Evans inside the five-yard line. They're going to call Javarius Ward with a holding penalty here prior to the pass. The flag will come up. Pass interference. Again, Mike Evans draws a flag. I was going to say, I didn't get that wrong, did I? I'm pretty sure it was just one catch for 31 yards. Right, wait a sec. Look, he's looking. Fires to the right side. It is too tall. And a flag thrown to the end zone. Mike Evans draws another flag. That's the fourth today. Another one, baby. Mike Evans, do he smile? Not really. Not really, now that I think about it. Sam, you know what? He's getting a fan to every day. I don't want nothing. Box for the Super Bowl champs. Bro, I just got, I just, bro, my body just got completely covered in goosebumps. Oh, completely covered. What a moment that was. 
But was he smiling? <laughs> you gonna crack a smile, bruh? Yeah, I'm gonna say that's a smile. DB's probably talked the most trash in the NFL. Well, guys, I don't know about you, but I really enjoyed that one. Best of luck, Mike, for this coming year. Can he do it again? I wouldn't put it past him. He's got Tom Brady at the helm. They're going to be a team for me to watch. In fact, in fact, I have been asked many times in my in my live streams throughout the preseason, what are the what you know? What's your favorite team? Who are you backing for the Super Bowl? You know, what teams do you enjoy? And I said, look, all right, I'm going to pick four. Four teams for me to follow this year. Four out of 32, an eighth of the teams. Right. It took me a wee while to think about it, but I have come to a decision. And they are in no particular order. The Seahawks, the Chiefs, the Jags, and the Bucks. And if you've got a problem with any of those four teams, please let me, let me know down in the comment section below. Because as we all know, it can actually help with the algorithm. So by all means, go for it. But thanks for watching, guys. In the next one, we're looking at Stefan Gilmore. One of the quietest, most unassuming, off the field players you'll ever meet. But on the field, it's a totally different story. So, looking forward to that one. I'm pretty sure he's in the top 20 last year. Bit of a drop back, but it is what it is. He's still in the top 100. And uh, with all that being said, I will see you shortly. Peace out, guys. Thanks for watching.